This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. We're joined uh, by Alyssa Orange, who's in Des Moines. How's it, how's it going, Alyssa? Yeah. I tell you what, I'm sitting courtside right now watching this Arkansas basketball team practice. And uh, shoot, shoot around, it's going really well. They're passing the ball, having a lot of fun out here. Heck yeah! How how, how is the, um, the the vibe? How are they feeling? You know, it's kind of a, a, a rebirth. You, you're everybody zero zero. You want to make the tournament? Uh, we, we we get Illinois. That's who we draw first. How are we feeling going into this game? Yeah, you know, just looking around, and we got to talk to some of the players in the locker room before practice. Vibes are high. You know, the team, the energy's high. They're smiling. They're goofing off. You can tell that they're loose. They did have a practice earlier today at a different location. That was a little more of a serious practice. This is an open gym. There are fans in the stands here. It's just a chance to get in front of these rims for the first time before their game tomorrow. But I'm going to say this team, and I'm not trying to be uh, biased or anything, has a lot more pep in their step at this shoot-around than Illinois did about an hour and a half ago. And it might just be a different kind of approach, but I like the body language. Yeah, different type of culture. Yeah, I, you know, I like Coach Mills being a, a tournament coach, and I mean, he's a great coach. And uh, do you think he'll have some type of wrinkle, some type of press, some type of different thing that to, with a game plan coming up for this Illinois team? Yeah, and I think a lot of it's going to be about size and physicality. When you look at the Illinois team, uh, they pass the eye test. They're they're a bigger team. They've got height and size, but Arkansas is more athletic and can move around. And if you can get the Mitchell twins, Jordan Walsh, Kamani Johnson, maybe Jalen Graham to just play at a next level. I think that that physicality down low is going to shine, and I bet Mus is going to try to play it to his advantage. Yeah, I wonder the the psyche there of, of a Jalen Graham. If, if he gets his number called, uh, you know, who's going to be kind of a hero to hit the shot like Devo hit? Uh, what, was it last year or two years ago? And uh, who, who's going to be the hog to step up and, and and make a run? And and Alyssa, I wonder some that, that we see this Arkansas team when the other teams do make a run in, in the second half, uh, like A and M did, and we didn't really respond. What do you think we got to do when? Because we know these teams are good. Illinois is going to make a run. Uh, we're going to have to respond. It's just how we how do we respond? Yeah, you know, I'm I'm glad you brought up Jalen Graham's name because I think he's a guy that could just had a spark and part of me can go back and go to that A&M game and man, if you'd have just put him in there for a minute, mm-hmm. he'd change the makeup of the way that game unfolded. And we asked Jalen in the locker room beforehand, like, how do you stay ready? Because sometimes you can come in and you just, you know, instant offense. And sometimes you don't get in the game at all. And he's like, I'm just always ready. I'm in that mentality of I know what my role is. I know that when I go in there, they need buckets. That's what they want from me. And so I just stay focused on that. And if I'm called, that's exactly what I do. And so maybe we see that from Jalen Graham tomorrow when they need it, have that spark. Because Jordan Walsh said, too, he's like, man, when, when Jalen Graham has the ball down low, we just start going back on defense because we know he's an instant bucket. So those guys have confidence in him. I'd like to see him have some more opportunities. Yeah, yeah. I thought uh, I thought the team moved well, especially that Auburn game. We moved the ball well, and then a and we just kind of ran into it. Um, but looking around uh, the, the the tournament, Alyssa, who is your final four? Did you do a bracket? Oh, I, I haven't finished my bracket yet. Uh, I have some uh, idea of, of which direction I'm going to go. I like Marquette. Uh, I think Marquette can get far. I've always been a big shock of smart fan. Mm-hmm. I, I like I like Virginia. I like Virginia. It's gonna be inter- I mean, obviously, I think Kansas is talented, but but Arkansas would probably play them game two if they win tomorrow. So I'm not picking that bracket side quite yet. Uh, and then I really like UCLA. So so what is that? I think Marquette, Virginia, UCLA, and then we'll see who comes out of this uh, West region. I like it. No, yeah, that that little guard. I'm a Shaka Smart fan too. So I, when I fill out my bracket, it's kind of I've, I've seen a little bit. You know, I watch Arkansas play, but you kind of see uh, a little bit of some other teams. And uh, you know, I think that San Diego State, maybe if they if they were able to get a chance against Bama, they could, they could upset them. And and then Indiana, that I forget their post player they had that's that's all American, but Indiana's a sleeper pick that I think could could make a run as well. 
Yeah, speaking, speaking of Shaka, you know, my hometown team of VCU, I've got them as that 12-5 upset, too. So watch out for the Havoc, the Rams, to make a run again. I like it. I like it. Uh, so what, what's the plan? What do, you, what do you, y'all, you guys go out to eat anywhere nice up there? Uh, what, what do you get to do on trips like this? Well, so this this morning I woke up at 4 a.m. and drove here. Oh, okay. <laughs> right on. How's that? You so got a playlist think, going? Right. Yeah, I, 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 I queued up a really old playlist from a couple of years ago that I haven't listened to in a while just because they were new songs that kind of just kept me awake. Like, right. oh, I haven't heard this one. This one's a good song. And uh, got to Kansas City and then started listening to my Dateline podcast. Once I was finally awake, I could put on my Dateline podcast. And me and Keith Morrison got my way to Des Moines from Kansas City and uh, got here around 11 o'clock with my makeup in the car and came into the arena. So once I'm done with my television obligations after the 6 o'clock show, uh, I'll wrap some stuff up and then it's probably bedtime. I like it. I like it. It's always it's always <laughs> fun traveling. Maybe a, yeah. Maybe a good dinner tomorrow. Yeah, there you go. You got to eat somewhere good. That's what I say. Every time I, when you travel and do something, man, you got to go try to eat somewhere good. And, and I'm sure you got a lot of good people around there and friends you make and it it will be, it will be a good time. Yeah. Yeah, One of, one of the cool things is uh, television is a one degree of separation, just this this, uh, industry in general. And I have a friend who works at the Des Moines station up here uh, who has sent me a list of recommendations. So, I'm excited to see what I can get to on that list. Well, heck yeah, Alyssa, we we appreciate you as always. Thank you. Uh, yeah. th- thanks for joining yeah. us. Hey, hey, no problem. Hey, and also real fast, Anthony Black. I'm sure people wonder. No boot on the ankle. The ankle looks good. Yeah, Anthony Black. We're gonna need him to play big. Uh, man, I, 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 that's that's it's probably more just um, prevention why he was wearing it, I guess. So that's exactly. that. That is good news. It, exactly. Yep. All right, Matt. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks, Alyssa. Bet Online remains your number one source for all your sports betting this season. Everything from the NFL and bowl season to esports. You'll find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at Bet Online. Bet Online features live betting, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. We're the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite leagues and events. Head to betonline.ag to join and receive a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. That's B-L-E-A-V. BetOnline, where the game starts.